Thank you very much for hosting us here in, in this beautiful garden. Just like this backyard, I think New Cut Road and the Auburndale and much of south, the South End, where I'm also a resident myself, uh, is very much a hidden gem sometimes as, as in part of our community uh, and this beautiful home that we have of Louisville, Jefferson County. Um, my name is Tom Stevens. I'm the Executive Director at Center for Neighborhoods. Uh, Center for Neighborhoods is an organization that's been around for 45 years uh, now in, in Louisville. And we do a range of different things. I always start these introductions with these paint projects by saying we are not an art organization. We are a community building organization. We focus on community development, empowering community leaders, grassroots leaders, uh, to be able to make change in their community. And through that, one way that we can do that is through the arts. We absolutely believe in the power of art and the power of community coming together with artists, uh, with local government, with one another, to really kind of tell their story and show off who they are. And so that's really what the New Cut Road Mural Project is all about. Um, I want to say a special thanks to Jess Brown from our team, uh, who helped to lead this project, and uh, Beth Thorpe, our uh, South End liaison, who gets all kinds of people to do all kinds of wonderful things, um, usually what they ask to do, sometimes a little bit more than that, um, and really taking them to the next level. And um, we do a range of different things. Our, our mission at Center for Neighborhoods is building healthy, sustainable, safe, and attractive neighborhoods through, and here's the important part, engaged, informed, and committed neighbors, so the people who live there. So we're there to support and empower them. And Louisville Metro government is one of our very important supporters and partners that allows us to do much of the work that we do in terms of including the outreach and education work that we do. And especially on projects like these, uh, the supporter and lead and inspiration and sponsor for this project was Councilwoman Vicki Welch. So I'll just finish, I'll finish by saying before I hand it off to Councilwoman Welch, when I first lived in Louisville, I'm not a native, I can't answer the question of where you went to high school here, um, but I fell in love with Louisville and I moved away, it took me 15 years, 14 years and four kids to get back, but we did. The first time I lived here, I had no idea the Jefferson Memorial Forest existed. We spend one week in a month out there at least. I love that part. I didn't know the South End existed. I lived in the West End and everybody talked about the East End. And, um, but I'm a proud South End resident. I love the, the gems and the beauty that we have in this community. And this mural is part of just showing that off for, for everybody now to see and to celebrate. So thank you all for being here, uh, Councilwoman Welch. Well, thanks to Tom and all of your team that I've worked so closely with on this project. I also want to thank the task force members that are here. Stephanie Buzan from the Little Loom House, Steve Elby from the Candlelight Neighborhood, and Don Thomas, he's the president of Autumn Trace, Ilona Mannion, Richard Mannion, her husband, they kind of tag teamed on the project because different things happened. <laughs> Mackenzie Cantrell, our wonderful state representative. So we had a lot of representatives from around here. Um, I want to thank my mom back there with the broken arm, Barbara Aubrey and her friend Jay Bradshaw. They have always been in my corner. My supporters are always with me on everything. She came with me a few times to uh, deliver some food and Frosties to Sabra when she was working here. <laughs> so that sort of thing, water. Um, this has been a phenomenal project. Uh, as I retire in the next 14 months, I mean, this is the bright star, I think, of all that I've done. Even I've done even much more costly projects, but this is the one that has been 100% positive. Not one negative thing about this project, and you never get 100% positive on anything, hardly. I think it has uplifted this end of town. I think it has caused more community building as the Center for Neighborhoods, that is their goal, that is my goal as a councilwoman. And it's not just my District 13, the things that are portrayed on the mural are outside of my district too, but it's the wonderful historic things that all of us who have been South Enders for life have, have grown and lived, uh, lived with and saw changes in. So we've got the Colonial Gardens depiction of what the new Colonial Gardens is going to look like, which we're going to have a groundbreaking very soon on that. Had a little delay with that little pizza joint, uh, but, but it's coming along. Um, then we have the Little Loom House, which Stephanie and I see Melissa Amos Jones here and her husband, Michael. Thanks for being here. And the Kenwood Drive-In was the very last drive-in in Kentucky. And luckily when that property was bought, and that is in our district 13, 
we convinced them to keep that historical sign. And Stephanie and, Stephanie and I are actually working on a historical marker for that spot too. So that's wonderful. We have the Finley home, which is actually behind Iroquois Park, I believe David Yates District. The Finley family owned all the land, like from Outer Loop all the way into Southern Parkway. And the city bought their land from them to make Iroquois Park. So that's what's so historic about the Finley home that is there on the design. The other thing we have is the Little Loom House, which is so wonderful, where the Happy Birthday song was written, which, you know, worldwide that song is used. We have the Jefferson Memorial Forest Hills and their sign, the Iroquois Amphitheater, which is a gem of our South End, and that's Marion Butler's district. The Buffalo Farm, where the patio homes are now, we had a buffalo farm on Old Third Street Road. So that is fabulous. Uh, that you all are here and so many people that lived in other places in the South End have now gathered in the pa patio homes and they have a ball. If you want to have fun as you age, go to Autumn Trace. They have fun. <laughs> but uh, also, um, oh, and the girl on the horse. The girl on the horse is a depiction of my daughter, Kristen. She had a horse accident in the year 2000. We almost lost her and um, I'm sorry. She was born nine months to the day that my sister died. And she was our bright shining star that got our whole family out of the depression of, of losing my sister. So when she had that horse accident, we were praying to God, please don't take her too. You know, so that's why I wanted her on that horse. My parents lived behind Iroquois Park and when the horse barns were there, my kids were over there every weekend riding the ponies and then they rode the horses. And so then Kristen, got in the Fair Oaks 4-H uh, group and did state competitions and I made costumes for all of them and we were over at that arena every night practicing and so the horse thing was a big thing in our life and I know there are a lot of horsemen and women around here I wanted them on that mural so I'm sorry for being so emotional but that was like a huge bad part of our life but we got over it she lives she's doing fine she's 36 years old she has five dogs loves animals she's a rescuer she's a wonderful person she couldn't be here today I'm, I'm sorry to say and neither could my other daughter but anyway I want to thank Cindy Fowler my my good uh, friend on the council district 14 Valley area I want to thank uh, Mackenzie Cantrell She's our state representative and was and I want to thank Nicole George who is a candidate and Mark Fox who is a candidate for Metro Council for being here. Mark is the uh, president of the Yorktown neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> Senator Clark, of course, and Sheila. Sheila, I've known since she was a tiny little girl. We grew up in the same neighborhood together and Perry I've known for a long time with his parents and the barbecue and the whole thing. We go back a long time. So I think that's all I have to say, but I want to introduce our mayor and I sure appreciate you being here. He just got in on a midnight flight last night and I'm so happy he took time out. He loves the South End. He's our partner in trying to get some development out here and I certainly appreciate you being here. Let's hear for this lady here uh, who's been a tremendous public servant for the city of Louisville and you know, she decided that she did enough and she's going to be retiring next year, but we haven't had many public servants like her in the history of our city here, certainly with our merged metro government. So let's have a big round of Thank applause you. here. Thank you. And what a great project to have as part of your legacy. When you talk about community and you talk about city, you kind of defined it. When you went through everybody that was here and all the people that are required to make a great project like this happen, I mean, sure, government is part of it, but government is us. Right. You know, and if people don't become part of these task force and come up with these creative ideas and have the drive to get the funding uh, to make it happen, it doesn't happen. So I just want to thank all of you all for playing such an important part of this. And what a great way to do it through art, right? Yes. Sabra, you did a beautiful job. Let's hear it for our artists yeah. here. You know, You know, when you, when you look at art, there's so much going on and so many people interpret it in so many different ways. And your all's design, the way you put everything together is going to tell stories to people that are new to the neighborhood, but people that have been here for 80 years as well. And those memories will come back in there. I don't know if it'll be as, any, as quite as intense as what yeah. yours are, <laughs> but, that's, but that's a beautiful story of a 
comeback of life. And when I saw her, I didn't know it was your daughter. I said, you know, we know who every man is. I said, that's every woman, yeah. you know, kind of overlooking her domain. Mm -hmm. And I'm all about girl power. We need more yeah. girl power. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just a lot going on there. And when you think about the revitalization of our city right now, we have $11 billion of capital construction underway or announced. So we're going through a renaissance like we have not yeah. gone through before. Yeah. That piece of art is a little exclamation point that says something else is going on here that will lead to curiosity for people to both move here and develop business as well and create opportunities. So at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I'm just honored to be part of the program today. Good job. Thank, Thank you for you. your leadership. Thank you. Okay. One of the ways that we work is absolutely including the task force and the community and their ideas. We require any artist who wants to submit on a project to come listen to the community first. And then we'll invite them to provide a letter of intent, and the task force looks at all those, gets five of them to submit a conceptual design based on what the inspiration and the ideas they heard from the community, and then they worked together to co-create that. So it's a little bit more challenging for an artist sometimes. Instead of just saying, go do what you do, we believe in art. It's really that kind of co-creation together. And so it really takes a phenomenal artist. So I want to say thank you, and I know she has several people that she wants to thank as well before we head down there. And then we'll come back here. We'll eat some cake and enjoy this beautiful day. And um, so let me uh, join with me, please, as we uh, say thank you to Sabre Crockett. Thank you. 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 I am absolutely overwhelmed with gratitude in being a part of this project. The community was outstanding in ways that they helped me and supported me. I couldn't believe it. Every single day I had somebody stopping by and saying thank you. And do you know how good that makes me feel? I mean, that makes me feel amazing. So I feel deeply connected to this community now. And I love South Louisville people. Holy cow, are you guys generous? You're friendly. I mean, I feel like a part of a family, which is amazing. So. I, so in a sense, the art is kind of secondary in that sense that I was able to create so many connections, positive connections with people. And, and that's what this project is really about. I mean, the, the art, yes, it's beautiful. And I think that it definitely uh, represents everybody. I really tried to make it quite inclusive to the whole community so that everybody could have a point of pride and, and feel connected to it. But what really made this is just meeting all of you and having that appreciation every single day I was out here. I mean, thank you, Perry and Sheila. You guys were amazing. And the neighbors were just amazing. I, I just, I cannot tell you how much love I feel for this community. So I'm going to keep it brief because I know Mayor needs to get going, but... Thank you. I, I cannot tell you enough. Thank you so much. Are we ready now? Okay. Two, three.